Hi Aquarius, it's CJ here. How are you doing? I hope you guys are doing really well out there. Um, before we start, first of all, this is going to be a, a general read for you guys for the month of July 2022. Time being fluid, of course, got to always say that. <laughs> um, I just want to offer a little bit of kind, high vibes to you. I hope everything is going well and um, I'm putting a prayer out there that everything that you want is going to come true and that if you're struggling with anything that you're going to be very supported and be guided and get to the other side. It's been a tough couple of years here for everyone and you know I just wanted to raise the vibration a little bit. So thank you again for always being here and for all the support on my channel. All right, so let us get started, Aquarius. We're going to open up with getting a Wisdom Oracle, and then we'll move into um, the Tarot, okay? All right, let us begin. All right, I almost lost my mind for a moment. Not sure. Lately, I've been feeling a little clouded. Okay, Spirit, please show me clearly the sign of Aquarius, our beautiful air sign offer guidance, insight as to what is happening in their worlds. Okay, right off the bat, at the bottom of the deck, we have Orphan, but it is in reverse. So this is positive. This is indicating that you may have been feeling very abandoned, very left out, um, feeling like you're just almost like a lost energy that no one is around, no one helps you, no one maybe even cares, and it's just a very kind of sad isolated kind of energy that has been around but it is in reverse so it is indicating here i'm feeling very strongly aquarius that if you are not there yet you are soon going to start to feel released out of that feeling okay all right let us begin spirit please show me clearly aquarius 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 July 2022, insight and advice, guidance, please. What do you have? And one more shuffle. The question is why, wow, okay. So we have why that has come out. Um, this is really, I'm getting this energy and on the bottom of the deck we do have deep knowing. You know, the question why, this card why, it is, it's kind of hard to put into words actually what the energy is off of it, but it's like when we start to, have, something has happened, right? And we ask ourselves, why? Why did that happen? Because we need to have some answers so that we can resolve it, so that we can heal it, so that we can let it go. Um, and it feels like you may be just at, the, at this time, you may be asking yourself those questions because you need the answers so that it can be released. There's a book here. Um, that this figure is leaning down on and he's looking at this book and coming out of this book is um, there's wings like the, the wings could be wings of a bird but I actually feel it's more wings of angels it's connection to the divine and it's like not everything that happens to us in life is ever fair this can be a really harsh world to be in and we do find ourselves asking that question because sometimes it's really hard to accept why things have happened to us the way that they have. But Spirit is asking you to really trust in your deeper wisdom and your deeper connection to Spirit, to the universe, that it is all, as, you know, it is divinely orchestrated, even the unfairness. It doesn't make sense a lot of the times with our logical mind but there is a deeper meaning behind it on a soul level that a lot of times we can't understand here being a human on this planet. Following on the bottom of the deck was the deep knowing and this is that confirmation of what I just spoke of. There is a deep knowing inside of you, inside your soul Aquarius that knows why this happened, why it all needed to go that way even as painful as it might have been for some of you. Um, and we'll find out a little bit more when we go into the tarot of what this could be pertaining to. But this does feel like it's a very spiritual journey that you have been on this lifetime. And there's probably a lot of unanswered questions. And to be honest with you, I'm feeling that you may never get the whole picture logically here. But to trust inside that there is a deeper meaning to it. 
Okay, let's get into the tarot. All right, spirit. It's interesting because I feel like my energy, and I split the deck, and I want to show you five of pentacles on the um, on the split, three of um, oh my god, five of pentacles here and three of pentacles there. You know, you might have been trying to work on something with people that have kept you out, that have kept you frozen, that have kept you orphaned. It's not a good energy. It's not a nice feeling. It's very painful. I almost feel extremely somber right now. But let's continue. Oof, okay, the deck is ready. Okay, let's go. You've got to assume that those are meant. Judgment, nine of wands, strength. Whoa, bottom of the deck, five of wands at this point. All right, so we're, it is about a family. For a lot of you, there's something to do with family, or it could even be a deeply committed relationship. I don't feel like it went very well. It hasn't ended up very well. We have seven of wands as well, which is very defensive, feeling like you have to protect yourself, feeling like you got to keep yourself in kind of a bubble so that all those wands underneath cannot hurt you. Let's start with what's on the bottom of the deck at this moment. Five of Wands. Okay, this is the overall energy of this reading, Aquarius. Drama, conflict, pain, hurt, fighting, arguing. Could even be physical um, fighting here because this person has fallen on the ground, if you can see um, right here. This one's trying to get back up. It's like just a... Oh, it's a heavy energy and it's not a nice one to be in. So maybe you are have been in some kind of relationship here, whether family or otherwise, um, that has been really unhealthy and it has been quite toxic and quite mean and quite vicious even. Um, <clears throat> and I do feel it is something to do with connected to something that is feels like the family origin or a lover, you know, but a, a, a heart connection here. Um, Okay, this is going to only probably be for a few of you. It feels like, I feel like from the outside looking in, people wouldn't even know. People wouldn't even know of the battle that goes on between the four walls. Um, it, it's, they wouldn't suspect it. But what went on between these four walls is quite painful um, and doesn't feel very good. To, the energy I'm getting is not, it doesn't feel very good. So <clears throat> you've had to close yourself off. You've had to protect yourself. You've had to defend yourself. Oh man, with the seven of wands here, you really have. Whether this is something from long ago past, it could be. Um, this could be something that you're going through right now or that recently you've been going through. It is followed with the Seven of Swords. And Seven of Swords is an energy of trickery, robbery. Could be physical robbery. It could be emotional robbery. It could be physical robbery. Um, like in the way of like, how do I put that? Um, you know, really demeaning you, you know. Emotionally, that's what I meant. I said physical, I meant emotional emotional robbery, taking away what was yours um, in the way of, you know, your belief, your confidence, etc. However, that may apply, but it is not an, I don't like this energy. People do this and they think they get away with it. And I feel with judgment showing up here, it is divine's way of letting you know that they will not get away with it. There will be a karmatic justice per se, somewhere down the line, whether here on this earth or in the next dimension. You know, and it's followed by the Hierophant. So Hierophant for me is traditional card, but it does really mean marriage to me. So this could be involving a marriage. Um, again, place it where it might fit. We have the Strength, we have the Nine of Wands, and then we have Judgment. So Strength is Leo's card. 
you really have to take a lot of strength of your own. You really have to become that lion inside of yourself to defend yourself, to defend even your people that you love. Look at that little lamb there. It has taken a lot and you've had to be brave and you have to be courageous. You've had to stand firm too in what you know is correct, what you know is right. Nine of Wands, the wounded warrior, followed along, as I said, judgment. Judgment is Divine's way of coming through here to let you know that, you know, it maybe has not been very fair and you've asked yourself the question why and you may never get those answers here, as I said. But you know deep down, deep down inside that it is for the higher purpose. Now, this might be the higher purpose of the other person or the other people that were cruel or were mean or were fighting all the time. You know, this may, we all learn from each other and sometimes in situations where it's even really unfair, something's been done unjust to you and it hurts so bad and it's so painful, but it is, it's not really a punishment on us, although it can feel like it. It is about the other person having to learn from what they've done right so judgment showing up here i do feel is they are saying that you are going to rise out of this regardless of when this has occurred um and then i do feel like they are on your side this energy right here judgment question why deep knowing feels very divinely orchestrated but i also feel like the protection the protection from spirit around you they've seen what you've had to go through here um and they know that it hasn't been fair so I feel like you have a lot of protection around you. There may be a need to be to, to forgive, you know, if you can. Um, but there's going to be a renewal for you, Aquarius. I need to go deeper. Let's go deeper. Let's get three more cards. What is the strength about? Five of Pentacles. You know, this is the impoverished card too. <clears throat> you know, I really am sensing that for, like for some of you, I really, I'm feeling like this is a small child. Spirit is giving it to me like that. Like a small child just being left out in the cold, abandoned. But remember the card abandonment in here. It was no longer upright. It was in reverse, which is a completely different meaning, right? It's a freeing meaning no longer feeling abandoned, coming to peace with what has happened. This is a heavy one. I will not lie. Bottom of the deck right now, four of swords, rest, relax, recuperation, healing, allowing your heart to heal after some devastating stuff here. Wow, oh, Aquarius, what have you had to go through here? My heart hurts for you right now. What is the nine of wands about? Show me clearly, please, spirit. What have they gone through here? But yet you stand so straight, so so brave, so determined. You, you haven't let it get you down. Sure, at times I'm sure it has been very, very difficult. Whatever this is. Um, but you're still standing there, you know? Back straight, shoulders up. Not quitting, not giving up not giving up on you being able to be free from it. Wheel of Fortune is clarifying the Nine of Wands. Oh, Aquarius, that's really sweet and beautiful because that means that the tide is about to change for you regarding this. Perhaps there's still arguments going on, struggles, people being really mean. Um, but everything's starting to change. This is a blessed card, the Wheel of Fortune. You will be standing on top again. All right, let's continue. Let's get a card clarifier, please, for judgment. Show me clearly, please, Spirit, for Aquarius. The hangman. Ah, oh, wow, beautiful. This judgment call, this, this final act, this... This decision with this decision that the divine is making here on this judgment, because judgment just means that it will be. It, 
how do I put this? I always struggle with how to say this, or what to put, how to put this. Judgment is on your is on your behalf. It's like the deep knowing, you know, whatever it is that you believe in, they know what is right and what is just. And so they are going to help you release this so that you can actually be free of it once and for all. And it will change the way that you perceive everything, the hangman. Your life will change in ways that you probably are not able to see right at this moment as you are going through this. Um, and the hangman also is indicating that you're not really going to be making physical movements. You are just going to be almost like suspended in this, <clears throat> I feel like a cocoon, so that you can really get the enlightenment. Let's look at this. This is very beautiful. My eyes are just drawn to it. The hangman's head is lit up, right? Because it's like you're receiving the answers. Actually, I feel like I want to put it this way. It's like where the light is coming back here, it is also here. So the question why, um, you may not get the actual physical answers, but I feel like you're going to know it in your heart and in your soul why. And that is going to help you release it and let go of it so that you can have this new start, this new rising up. I feel like I said that rising up in a different reading. Okay, getting distracted, sorry. <clears throat> All right, Spirit, is there anything else that you have for Aquarius regarding this reading? What is an outcome here? What is the potential outcome here for Aquarius? This is a big deal. You have two major arcana. That means life-changing events here. Hierophant. Higher wisdom. Yes, I said marriage. You know, yes it is. But it also is higher wisdom. So the outcome of this is going to be that you are going to rise to the very top. Look at those gorgeous golden stairs lit up by fireworks. It's the divine here. You are going to have higher, higher wisdom. You're going to be connected to your higher wisdom. You probably won't need the answers of why anymore because you'll just have an inner knowing, a beautiful inner knowing that is going to bring you a lot of peace in this situation. And the baggages are getting dropped. You're going to let it all go. How gorgeous is that? You're going to be able to literally let it all go and walk away and start a new, different path. Wow, I like that. I almost want to keep going on, but we're not going to. Otherwise, we'll run out of time here. Okay, um, so massive change. I feel like you're going to be healing. You're going to be finding peace. It is time for you to let this go. You know, it's going to take strength and courage to push through. But you deserve happiness and you deserve you deserve to be able to have a new lease on life here. In whatever way this is 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 relating to you, if it is relating to you. Okay, Aquarius, I'm going to get you one treasures from Takashi and then we'll close the reading off. Sometimes I think of things after I shut the camera off. Because there's a lot of energy that comes flooding, so it's, you know, it's, sometimes I get overwhelmed with it and I miss things. So I just want to take another, just another look here. Bear with me, please, for one moment. I just feel like you're going to be more in alignment with your true self after this releasing happens. Oh, okay, bottom of the deck, it says magic. Wow, well, that's beautiful. Oh my goodness, it does. I, I don't I think I have gotten this card. It's on the bottom before we start. I will still pull another card, but it's on the bottom. Unexplained, fascinating turn of events. Expect the unexpected. You have wondered and you have let go. Magic is in the air. Okay, so I feel like that is a really important message for you. Hold on to the magic that is going to be coming towards you or focus on that magic. Whatever happened in the past doesn't have to be part of your, your present. Easier said than done, I know. But we can make that change. And I feel like it is really time to let that go, Aquarius. 
All right, let's get one card, please, Spirit, for a sweet Aquarius regarding this reading and what they've been going through. One card, please, show me clearly. All right. Consideration, <coughs> excuse me, humor, and issues. Abundance is on the bottom. <clears throat> That's an important one. So we have consideration. Pay attention and let nothing move past without your con your examination. Many special moments are unfolding for your attention. If you carefully look at what has brought you to this now moment, you will see how much of yourself deserves your loving consideration. Let go of what has the wrongs that have been done, the people that have hurt you, the fighting, the arguing, the left out in the cold. That's on them you start to just consider yourself. You know, you deserve that loving consideration. Humor, so see the funny side of life. Laugh at yourself. Laughter is love. Learn your life's lessons with laughter and you'll travel your path with a light and happy heart. Release melancholy he heaviness and aster practicality. I don't even know what the heck that word means. A-U-S-T-E-R-A. -A -E what is that? Oster? And I've gone to school. <laughs> I've never seen that word before. <laughs> Practicality in, in favor of some good, clean fun and laughter. Let your spirit soar. And it says issues. Identify and face your issues. Yes, it may feel uncomfortable at first, but how many times do you wish to travel the same road? Current issues that you have been working on are being resolved. Other forces are at work here. Take your time and know that all of the pieces of the jigsaw puzzle will slot in eventually. Okay, that's so beautiful between the deep knowing and the why. You're gonna get your answers when it is time. Abundance. Love, security, freedom, happiness, support, and finances are yours in abundance. The universe provides, it is up to you to say yes. All life flows with love and you are an energy being of love. You are not separate from your desire. Let go of limited expectations and acknowledge that you are worthy of all things. Participate in life's joy and you shall receive the rewards of your effort. Beautiful. And then <laughs> magic appears again underneath that. So Aquarius, pretty deep one. My heart goes out to you. Um, thank you for being here. I hope this offers some kind of healing or some guidance at least. Thank you again. I wish you love. I wish you light. May this month be kind and gentle on you. Hope to see you here another